different going on today. But what it is, is an old house and a bunch of junk cars. Probably about not even 10 minutes from my house. And, uh, it's been abandoned for a long time. Ain't nobody lived there. But there used to be an old man that lived there and he had a record truck and he hauled cars and towed cars, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So uh, he's got a bunch of old junk cars and stuff out there. And uh, I guess his son or nephew or something like that inherited the land when the old man died. He's wanting to get rid of all the junk cars. So he's going to let us come in there and clear them out, scrap them, sell them, whatever we want to do with them. And then, uh, you know, we're going to split the money with him and all that good stuff. But I figured I'd bring y'all along and uh, show y'all as we go. I used to actually play in a lot of these cars when I was a kid, probably 20, 25 years ago. My mama used to clean the house for them. So whenever she was cleaning the house, I'd be out there playing in all the cars. But a lot of them's gone. I think a lot of them have been stolen and stuff like that, unfortunately. But there's still a lot of good stuff there. Uh, a bunch of old Ford trucks, a couple Falcons, uh, C10, Jeep, Bronco, stuff like that. But uh, we ain't too far from it, so when we get there, I'll show y'all what all is there. I'm going to unload the four off my trailer because uh, we're going to try to haul one car off today just one that ain't worth nothing it's just an old 80s model chevy family car and ain't worth the shit anyhow so we're gonna go ahead and just scrap that one today but brought my fuller that way i can ride around the property and uh show y'all all the trucks and cars because a lot of them's down in the woods and stuff and it's hard for me to get around on that crap plus there's a bunch of old motors and transmissions and just a bunch of old heavy scrap iron i figured i could use the fuller to pull out pull out to the front here where we can load it up yeah we're pulling up here now there's a little a little wagon my little nephew he done pulled that one out we're gonna try to do some uh will it run videos on some of these things that one there has got a motor and all in it so uh, thinking it'll uh, it'll probably run and a bunch of them out here has motors and stuff in them so maybe we can uh make some pretty good videos for y'all but uh my nephew there we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do and then i'll be right back all right so this is here is the car he's got pulled out that we're gonna haul off today as you can see i think it's like an old chevy celebrity or something like that but it ain't in the best shape so we ain't too much worried about keeping it so we're gonna go ahead and get back down in there and try to get her strapped we're gonna probably just load this one backwards because uh front of it's all messed up all right uh, i need to go ahead and unload my four wheeler first i guess <laughs> that four wheeler off uh i'm gonna load this car up here in a minute but before we do that i'm gonna do a little ride around the property real quick show y'all some of the trucks and cars uh stuff like that sorry for the noise on the four wheeler i gotta get around on these when it comes to walking long distances uh, so i ain't trying to do that around all this property so i'm gonna ride the four wheeler around show everything y'all i'll try to uh, be a little bit louder so y'all can hear me good uh, over the boiler because it's rattling like hell and these damn timing chains and all that crap but anyway uh we got the celebrity we're gonna haul it off today we're gonna go ahead and load it up real quick but uh there's a few motors up there a couple small blocks and small block fours he said we could get so i'm uh i'm gonna load them on the trailer first i got a hood over there we're gonna put them on the hood and then we're gonna pull it up here with the boiler pull the boiler up on the trailer with the motors on the hood unload the motors and then we'll load the car up and uh we're gonna take and scrap the car out but we're gonna keep the motors and uh try to sell them separately or or maybe use them or something like that but yeah this is the first one that's gonna go or the second one i must say the first one was a dodge truck it didn't have no title and it had a few other issues but anyway this will be the second one to go it ain't worth nothing, so uh, we ain't even worried about it going to the scrap yard. That's my nephew's truck. This is another one that we got pulled out. We're going to try to see if this one here will run. The Toyota wagon. I don't think it has a title to it. All the ones that he's telling us to scrap don't have titles to it. But some of y'all might be interested in them for parts or something like that. And some of these have good motors in them. He gave us about 12 or 14 of them that he wanted to scrap and then the rest of them he's probably gonna keep or either sell separately because they got titles to them like this toyota right here i think he's probably got a title yet so we're not gonna be scrapping it this is where the dodge was it was scrap we got this little s10 right there he's gonna let us uh he's gonna let us 
grab that one. Actually, we'll jump off right here for a minute. Walk around a few of these trucks. Y'all gonna have to bear with me walking around these trucks because like I said, I am getting around on crutches right here. So it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world. And why I'm on the crutches, I'm gonna tell y'all soon. A few of y'all already know, the ones that know me personally or that have met me. And I've been like this for quite a while, but uh, I'm gonna tell y'all the story here soon. I was thinking maybe like a 25,000 subscriber special or something like that. But anyway, yeah, we got uh, like a 90s model. Let's see what dash we got here. Okay, we got the square dash, so it's a 94 under. It's probably a 93 or 94. Extended cab, a little S10 here, extended cab. This one's got a four cylinder motor in it. Got the door open. Oh, right. ass. Damn. Oh, this baby's four wheel drive. Stick shift. It's got the keys in it, but no ignition. I wouldn't mind having this on here. Freaking five speed, four wheel drive. Hell yeah. All right, let me get back out of here. We'll look under the hood. Oh. Here we go. It's a small block Chevy. Oh, it's missing the thing, so the damn hood won't stay up. Uh, it's got the big skinny harmonic balancer, so I'd be willing to say it's a 350. The belt sticker that has the engine number on it's gone, but pretty sure it's a 350. Another Chevrolet truck, extended cab, Z71. This one's been wrecked pretty good. But, it's got a motor in it, TBI motor. This one being wrecked, I guarantee you the motor and transmission and all, and this one is perfectly fine. It's got 105,000 miles on it. Damn, this would be a damn good motor transmission for somebody. Let's see, L05, so that'd be a 350. GT4 G80, so it's got 373 gears with a locker. Damn, man, this whole running gear would be a damn good donor for somebody. We got an old Chevy Chevrolet Dually, and just got the nope. Noticed it had the round dash in it, so this must be a 95 model. 95, probably 350. 5.7 liter. This one probably got a good motor and stuff in it too. I think a lot of this stuff was just parked here, you know. He towed them here. And, uh, you know, nobody ever came and got them or what the deal is. I don't really, I don't really know what he had going on. I just remember playing out here when I was a kid. And then we got, uh, some kind of upside and down truck. Got a couple motors here. We might try to pile them up. All right, we're gonna move along here. Cause we got a lot of ground to cover and we need to get that car hauled off. An old Ford truck right here.
good buddy just needing a motor. motor in it, but it's not the motor he's wanting. Old C10 here. It looked like it was in better shape from the other side. Right, now I get closer to her. It looks a little more rough, but he don't want to scrap this one either, which I probably wouldn't scrap it anyhow. I mean, it's in rough shape, but there's somebody out there that would want it. drove it in here and parked it. I don't know if it's got a straight six or what in it. We might try to take a, take a look at it. Another jet ski. And then we got like a 56 Ford right here. This one's got a V8 in it, but uh, she looks a little weathered. Yeah, it needs some work, but it should be worked with. A little Bronco here. You said the keys was in this one? So we might try to fire this one up. Yeah. He's in it. Open the hood up. Oh, it's got a winch on it too. I don't even notice that. Yep. Looks pretty clean in here. Complete motor. Yeah. I say it right. I would like that thing. You got a title in Mazda. Yeah. So he he didn't say scrap it. No, he's got the title to. He said everything. scrap the Thunderbird though, didn't he? Yeah. Right, everything so. we're scrapping does. Thunderbird. Have to what about this trailer here? Scrap. And then we got that Dodge truck over there. Four wheel drive Dodge truck. I'm gonna try to get that thing. Yeah, he's a little rough. It's got a motor in it. I don't know if it's a 318 or 360 or what. I'm not real familiar with Mopar. Everything is there, though. We might can try to fire this one, too. Be nice at least fire at one V8. Yeah. I think this one's a three-quarter ton. So maybe it's got a 351 or 400. Probably a damn straight six. What the hell? Yeah. A damn straight six. <laughs> really? I'll tell you what, though. It's a damn good motor to pull with, though. Me and Norris was hauling junk cars. We pulled some heavy shit with a straight six. <laughs> she never missed a beat. Pop the hood on the top. Another straight six. Everything out here has got a damn straight six in it. <laughs> Trying to get up in here before I can see what's in these vans. Oh, hell, that one's a Chevrolet van. Hell, yeah. Man, that'd be sweet if that thing had a 400 in it. Hoping this one had one in it though. Man. Oh, it's got some parts in the back. Looks like some small block heads and stuff. Man, window's nasty as hell. I spit on it and cleaned it up for y'all just so y'all could see back there. Got some small block heads, a bunch of pressure plates and bands. Looks like a looks like maybe a, a four speed or a three speed over there. A bunch of odd end parts in there. Looks like maybe some big block heads in there too. And this one's got a bunch of parts in it too. Floor converters, brake parts, fans, tail shell, boosters, starters, bunch of odd and end stuff like that. But he said he wanted all this stuff gone. So we got a lot of work to do. Got a little stash of motors right here. couple more old four trucks this one here missing the bed and everything else this one here is kind of like that other one up there like a 
56 model Ford. Straight six. Who would have known? <laughs> I wonder if it'll run. Yep, we're gonna have uh we're gonna have some will it run videos coming for y'all here soon. For sure. We got plenty of stuff to uh fool with, that's for sure. This one here seen better days, but uh you know it's actually fixable, honestly. I mean rusted out down there. Sure there's a lot more rust in it, but Somebody wanted one of these trucks bad enough. You know, it can be fixed. I've seen worse be fixed. And then this one here, there ain't much to it. Well, there's, there's stuff everywhere around here, that's for sure. We still ain't covered everything. All right, we're gonna go up towards the house here and show you some of the stuff that I want and what I'm interested in. We've got a little Jimmy right here. A straight six. Oh my god, everything has straight sixes in it. I figured it'd have a daggum small block Chevy or something in it. <laughs> it looked like one of them Jeeps, you know. It just looked like one that would have a have a 350 in it. Not in bad shape, though. I mean, it's been sitting in the weather. You got a four truck right there. boom or something on it and, uh, another chevrolet truck up in there golf cart and four truck over there and i think that's just about it there used to be about 40 or 50 more cars in here but like i said the guy's been robbed a lot over the years There's one more i was wanting to show y'all i can't remember where the hell it was and this is the one i'm wanting I think that's about it as far as all the cars got the mustang over there I'm pretty sure he said it's got a straight six in it but, uh, plenty of other stuff around here got a couple small blocks laying around there's a ford over there a couple other motors he said we can get all them too but i'm not gonna scrap the motors i'm just gonna uh, i figure we'll just pay him scrap price for them i know that one right there i looked at it it's a 3970010 block 010 block surely it they're all nice and locked up but uh we still gonna take them they need machine work and stuff but these old 350 blocks getting hard to find this one here it's a forward motor i don't know if it's a 302 351 what it is but i might try to get it maybe stuff it off in the ranger I'm sure that make y'all Ford guys happy instead of me putting a 350 in it like I'm planning on doing.
I gotta go get my little boy from school here in a little bit, so, so we kinda on a time crunch. But uh, we'll get the other motor next time. But we headed to the scrapyard now and to find some water. Yeah, we made it. Looks like they busy tending to somebody else. Damn windshield is dirty as hell. 11,520 is what we weigh. My truck and trailer by itself is uh, about 7,500, 7,600. So we probably got about 4,000 pounds, which probably about 800 pounds of motors that we ain't gonna be scrapping. All right, well, we finally got that took care of. Got that damn car off. Still got the motors back there. We're gonna get to the house and uh, I gotta haul ass to get my little boy. He gets out of school at 2.45 and it is uh, 2.28 right now. Y'all just be on the lookout. And, uh, let me know what y'all think. See y'all in the next one. Later.